As we seek to find a balance in our growth and development, we need to understand that some environments are crucial to the development of all life. Wetlands are the nurseries of Mother Nature. Currently, 2% of the total Earth's surface is wetland, formed by fresh water, salt water or a combination of both. These areas where fresh water and salt water meet are critical breeding grounds on which a multitude of life depends. When it rains heavily, wetlands act like giant sponges soaking up excess water as it spreads. Yet for all their benefits, the Earth's wetlands are among the most endangered of all habitats because of human intervention. Translated to mean reed forest, the Biesbos is one of the few remaining wetland parks in the Netherlands. Every spring, great flocks of birds nest safely in this labyrinth of inlets, marshes and tidal creeks. They feed on the diversity of organisms nourished by the tides. The country of the Netherlands originally was a grand wetland, dominated by the rivers Rhine and Maas. Since the 13th century, Dutch farmers have drained wetlands to create small farms or polders. Dikes and canals were built to divert water around land needed for a growing population. The great rivers were channeled in order to create more land and a better infrastructure for commercial shipping. The room for wetlands decreased. In 1953, disaster struck this growing nation. Storms from the North Sea caused floods which inundated much of the southwest coast of the Netherlands, killing over 1,800 people. The Dutch government decided to build an extensive system of dikes and dams known as the Delta Works. This project was designed to keep the country from ever flooding again. But as so often happens when man intervenes in Mother Nature's balance, unexpected consequences arose. The Great Seawall cut off the flushing actions of the tides, leaving marsh areas like the Biesbos stagnant. Rare plants became overgrown with common botanical varieties and the reeds and willows were mostly lost. And this intervention has still not secured the country from floods. Over the years, the channeling of the rivers and the reclaiming of land for farms and growing cities has destroyed nature's natural flood control mechanisms. Wetland parks like the Biesbos are simply too small to handle any excess water from the Maas and Waal. The government is now rethinking its development policy. A program meant to buy back polders and let them grow wild is taking root, so the rivers will have more room again. Wild species of cattle have been introduced in these areas to help create more diverse landscapes. Diverse landscapes will promote greater variety of plants and animals, which will aid in restoring a healthy wetland habitat and help absorb overflow from adjacent rivers. And the giant doors on the great seawalls are being opened to allow tidal flushing once again. The people of this country are engaged in an effort to reclaim nature's gifts that were nearly lost forever. 